Hello, welcome back to another week of Celebrate Wonder. My name is Kelsey and I'm very excited to be with you this week. So this week, our faith word is guide. Guide means showing the way, like the light of Christ. So let's light our candle as we invite Jesus to be with us and be our guide. So there is a boat in our Bible story today. Have you ever been on a boat? What tools do you use to guide boats? So my family and I have a boat when we go to the beach in Long Beach Island. So I know that when you have a boat, you need rope and you need um, a GPS or like a compass. You might need um, an anchor. So if you want to stop, the boat won't move. We even have life jackets and there's even like sparklers. So if we get lost, we can light the sky up so someone can come find us. So keep that in mind today when we're listening to our story about the disciples and Jesus on a boat. Let's sing together our song, Follow As You Go. You can sing along and celebrate, or you can do your activity pages as you listen to the story.
Great singing. All right, let's read our Bible story together. It's called Jesus Calms the Storm. It's from Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. And my third grade friends know that Mark is one of the Gospels in the New Testament. So we're going to be learning about the life of Jesus. So our story goes like this. Jesus had been teaching the crowds all day. Jesus said to his followers, let's go across to the other side of the lake. They took a boat out into the water. Big, strong winds began blowing the water against and into the boat. The disciples were scared, but Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat. The disciples woke Jesus up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we are drowning? Jesus got up and told the wind to be silent and still. The wind settled down and everything was calm. Jesus asked the disciples, Why are you afraid? Don't you have faith yet? The disciples were filled with wonder because of what Jesus had done. They looked at each other and said, Who is this man? The wind and the sea obey him. Let's roll the wonder cube and take time to answer a few questions. I wonder what is the most important part of the Bible story? I think that the most important part of this Bible story is that when Jesus is our guide, we don't have to be afraid because he is with us. So we just have to keep faith. Let's watch the, the wonder video to hear more about this story. Greetings, I'm Samuel. In today's story, Jesus is in a boat with his disciples. After a long day of teaching, Jesus is tired and is ready to cross the lake. When he gets in the boat, Jesus falls asleep. While he's sleeping, a storm comes and rocks the boat back and forth. The disciples get really scared. I would be too. They wake up Jesus and ask him how he can sleep when the boat is rocking so hard. Jesus tells the wind to calm down and the waters became calm again. Whoa, the disciples are amazed. After Jesus calms the storm, he says to the disciples, why are you frightened? Don't you have faith yet? In this moment, Jesus reminds us that our faith is not just important during good times. Jesus shows us to have faith when things are hard too. One time, the power went out in my house and I was in my room alone and I was really scared because I don't like the dark. I left my room and went to find my parents. I always feel safe with them. And I knew I would feel better when I got to them. When I got to their room, they gave me a big hug and reminded me that I would be okay. They also gave me a flashlight, which made the dark not as scary. After they gave me the flashlight, they told me this story. My dad said the disciples were scared in their storm too. Jesus came and he calmed it. Jesus also reminded them to have faith, even when it's hard too. I was still a little scared, but the story gave me hope. My parents took out more flashlights so that we could make shadow animals on the wall with them. I realized everything was okay, even though it started off scary. Jesus shows us what to do in difficult times, in times of trouble. We can use Jesus as a guide. This can be hard when you're afraid and you don't know what to do. Remember, Jesus is with us in every situation. Whether you are feeling really good or having a really hard time, even when it's hard, you can have faith. Now it's your turn to wonder. All right, let's wonder together. Have you ever been in a storm? What happened? I know that I've gotten caught in a lot of thunderstorms in more in the summertime. I've been outside and all of a sudden it started to rain and you start running and screaming and because you want to don't you don't want to get wet, you want to find coverage. So I know for me sometimes when that happens I get a little nervous. How is Jesus a guide in this story? Jesus is guided in this story by helping the disciples have faith when they were scared. He was guiding them through that scary time. 
pause the video now and talk to your family about what you think about what happens in a storm and how Jesus is the guide. All right, let's continue to wonder. What would you have done if you discovered Jesus was sleeping during that storm? I think if I had figured, found Jesus sleeping, I would be a little concerned that he was sick or something. So I would have wondered if he was okay, and maybe even a little frustrated like the other disciples as well. What do you imagine the disciples did right after Jesus calmed the storm? I think reminding themselves to have faith was something that they did right and talking to each other about what had happened. Pause the video now and talk with your family about these things. All right, let's pray together. Dear God, please be our guide. Amen. All right. So in today's Bible story, Jesus was sleeping during the storm. The disciples were afraid, but Jesus helped stop the storm and comforted the disciples. So do you have any extra or old pillowcases at home? Because if you do, we're going to get to decorate some today. We are going to, just like Jesus was having a was sleeping, we're gonna use a pillowcase to remind us that Jesus can be our guide. So I took some an old pillowcase we had, I have some markers, I even have a cardboard box here that I think would be, I'd recommend putting inside of the pillowcase so the marker doesn't bleed through. And you can decorate your pillowcase as a way to remind you that Jesus can be our guide and to always have faith. So I took one of the words from the Bible story. I took the word still. I wrote be still. And then I wrote let God be your guide. And then I even drew some water. I drew a boat. I put the Bible story for today on the boat. So you and your family, if you have any pillowcases that you'd like to decorate, you can take the time today to decorate a pillowcase to remind us that Jesus can be our guide. All right, so before we close our time together, I thought it'd be fun if we use our bodies to make a storm. So you can follow along with me. I'll, we'll do it once and then we'll do it together one more time. It goes like this. You can rub our hands together to start the storm. You might snap your fingers, clap your hands, pat your legs, stomp your feet. Maybe if there's a light switch at home, you could turn the lights on and off and make the lightning. All right, let's do it one more time together. Ready? You can make lots of different noise. Maybe flicker the lights. All right, one more time. I want to do it backwards now. I'm going to stop my feet. Good job. We're even flickering the lights. <laughs> Good job. All right, let's close together. And let's calm our bodies, silent our hands. Dear God, thank you for Jesus who calms the storm and helps us have faith. Amen. Thank you for wondering with me today. As you go through your week, remember to let your faith guide you. See you next time.